क्वेश्चन इज वाई डज द उपनिषदिक सीयर से सत्यम एव जयते सत्यम एव जयते ओनली द ट्रुथ विंस और ट्रुथ अलोन विंस एव मीन्स अलोन ही सत्य ही जीतता है सो द क्वेश्चन इज वाई डिड द उपनिषद नॉट से सत्यम जयते ट्रुथ विंस और सत्यम जयती वाई डिड ही नॉट से इट दिस वे वॉट इज द सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ ए वाई मस्ट इट बी सेड दैट द ट्रुथ अलोन विंस it has been said because the upanishadic seer knew that we are prone to image formation understand this we see two parties fight and when two parties are fighting we have already labeled them because we carry images we say one is the side of truth and the other side is the side of falseness one is the side of dharma the other is the side of evil that we have decided even before the battle but life is bigger than the labels that we give to it life is beyond our limited comprehension it is quite possible that the side that you have called as evil would win now this will create a great problem for you because you had decided in advance that which is the truth party and which is the false party now the false party has won what to do your shallow faith would stand shaken you would say no upanishads the very word of truth they said the truth wins but i am seeing the false wins hence it is quite significant that it must be said that satyam ev jayate if it is winning it is the truth if it is winning it is the truth only the truth wins so whatever is winning is the truth please understand this now you have no way to hide now you cannot say that the seer was mistaken the seer is saying doesn't matter who wins only the truth wins only the truth wins only the truth prevails it doesn't matter what you have thought of as the truth your thoughts do not matter what matters is the fact go to the fact see what is really happening the really happening is the really winning see what is really happening that which is really happening really really happening will lead you to the truth are you getting it equally significant is the question what is meant by jayate what is meant by winning without answering that question we cannot significant understand the significance of aim when in our normal parlance do we call something as a victory 
we call something as a victory when the challenger has been vanquished he is no more he has been finished and the victor has sustained that is the definition of victory right the opposing party has been finished and the winning party has continued and sustained that is what you call as a victory am i right so that which continues that which sustains is the victory that is the reason why the final test of truth is nityata it must sustain challenges will come in between but those challenges will die down truth alone will prevail and persist and continue and it will continue even beyond time hence we cannot even say that it continues continuing within time is a small thing truth is that which continues even after time ceases to continue that is the definition of nityata you get this who is the defeated party the defeated party is the one who has a definite time span the defeated party is the one who has a definite time span at the end of that time span it is killed finished so it is a defeat now you are no more when a warrior is killed then he is no more and he is called defeated so that is the definition of defeat if you are somebody who will end then your very being is a defeat or if you are something that will exist only as long as existence or if you are somebody whose time span is only as wide as time itself then to it is a defeat because time too comes to an end time had a beginning and time will have an end the truth is that which really really sustains which was there before time which is there as the basis of time and which will be there even after time that is the definition of truth and that is the definition of victory i alone prevail that is the definition of truth and victory both are you getting thank you now that which will really prevail you would have never betted upon it to prevail you will always think that other things are permanent you fall in love with a woman and what do you tell her you tell her that time will never be able to separate us or if you are a little more realist then you will say till death do us part you try to imagine permanence in things that are actually not permanent which means that you try to think of those things as victorious which are actually already defeated we have said to end to come to a full stop is defeat and to be everlasting nitya is victory man's limitation is that he really does not know that which is actually permanent beyond time and instead he tries to attribute permanence to other trivial things he collects wealth thinking that wealth would stay with him so the saints have to repeatedly remind him that this is not going to go with you 
we have already taken the example of carnal attraction or kids you try to assume a certain permanence there which is never there even your body many of us are so body identified that we have raised scriptures which imagine a scenario in which you are walking into the other world in your bodily form have you not read stories that after death he reaches the gate of heaven and he knocks there now obviously if you are knocking then you are knocking with your hands so what have you been told that even after death your body will sustain do you see the conspiracy after death when he reached yamraj yamraj asked him tell me about your virtues and vices pap and punya now the fellow is talking to yamraj obviously if he is speaking he must be speaking with his so you are insisting that the body is there even after death you are trying to attribute a permanence to the body which body cannot have man will always think of falseness as truth of the limited as unlimited of the ending as everlasting hence it is very important that the upanishadic rishi has wisely said satyam ev jayate you would never know truth you only know the false and you can even label the false as truth that's what you keep doing so when the false is defeated you will receive a mighty shock you will not say that you were mistaken you were mistaken and you were supporting the wrong party what will you say you will say oh my god this is probably kalyug see the truth has been defeated understand this you will witness falseness being defeated but you had labeled falseness as truth now you will not admit that you had been mistaken you will not admit that it was falseness that you had been supporting and it is but natural that falseness will be defeated you will say this surely must be kaliyo see the truth is being defeated what is certain is that falseness is truth because i labeled it, it as truth now i labeled it as truth and it is being defeated so this must be a very chaotic age and i need not have any faith in the truth now because the truth has been defeated the rishi is telling you if it is being defeated if it is being defeated then it is not the truth in fact an equally useful actually more useful statement would be if it is being defeated it is false the statement has been made here by the upanishadic seer in a sense of affirmation he is saying truth alone wins i would like to make a statement via the negativa in a sense of negation not in a sense of affirmation i would like to say the false alone loses because it is very difficult for you to see ultimately who will win and no victory is final so you might be mistaken but it is very possible for you to see who is being defeated defeats you are seeing every day every moment hence remember the false alone loses if something is losing it is false 
If something is coming to an end, it is false. Do not be surprised when something comes to an end. For it is the nature of all things false to come to an end. Are you kidding? Do not try bad arguments. You fall in love with a woman. The relationship breaks after some time. What do you say? You say, my love was pure. But the situations were such that it could not survive. Or you say that my love was pure, but she was not so committed. So it could not survive. You do not admit that only the false loses and if your love has lost, then it was a false love. You never admit that. Because that hurts the ego. Whatever comes to an end, comes to an end only because it is false, otherwise it cannot come to an end. Whosoever has ever been defeated has been defeated only because he was false, otherwise he cannot be defeated. Truth alone wins and more importantly, the false alone loses. So if you are losing it daily, then know that you are standing in the false. Are you getting it? Are you getting it? You may not know the truth. And that is alright. Because as a limited human being, you cannot lay your claim upon knowing the truth. But surely you must know the false. That is far easier. You see destruction around you every day, don't you? You see your hopes being defeated. You see your dreams being shattered. You see your relationships breaking down. Just know that if it is gone, it is gone because it was false. That will bring peace to you. Nothing ever goes away for any other reason. It goes away only because it is false. Do not complain against existence. What you have lost was anyway false. Why complain now? What you have lost was anyway false. And if you have a problem in knowing whether it is false or not, just use this test. Is it going to come to an end? And don't leave it to imagination. See that it is coming to an end daily every moment. Because if you just leave it to imagination and ask yourself, is it going to come to an end in the future? Your mind may deceive you. Your mind may tell you, no, no, it is never going to come to an end. It is eternal. Realize that it is ending daily, that there is a defeat daily. And when you realize the false as false, the truth has already dawned. 